Uh, I'm Keen Schultz, and I'm an early careers manager with Backable. I look after our apprentice program, essentially, um, both of them. So we, we do them in two different ways. We have a, an intake every year, um, typically young apprentices, but not always, you know, open for anyone to apply. Um, they go on a two or four year apprentice program, um, similar to a graduate program. Uh, and then at the end of it, they move into a full time role. Uh, so I, I, um, I run the recruitment campaigns for them. I bring them into the business. I support the sites. Uh, and then I look after the apprentices and, you know, make them make them into into future stars. That's the plan. Um, but then, but then also we offer apprenticeships to uh, to our existing colleagues as a, as a means of development. So um, I I work with the sites on you know what do they need, what skills are they lacking, what uh, what development do they want people to have, where do they want people to get to, and then I I look at what apprenticeship qualifications are out there some providers and set programs up. This year we've we've um, been recruiting for nine different apprenticeship programs. So you know one of the things some people think when they see the food industry is everyone works on a factory, on a line making food. And absolutely we have lots of people doing that. But we also have lots of opportunities in lots of different areas that you know, you might have a particular interest in something and and we can offer it. So, you know, this year we've been recruiting for HR apprenticeships, uh, health and safety, engineering, supply chain, uh, technical, which are like our food scientists, uh, new product development, manufacturing, finance and business administration. Um, and then in previous years, you know, we've done development chefs, we've done commercial. Um, so, yeah, I mean, our, our idea is to... Is to have an apprenticeship route available for every function that we have so that you know no matter what your interest or what your passion is then you know we'll have a opportunity for you the, the minimum standard that you have to have is a a to c or i think a nine to four in uh, in current terms in uh, in maths and english they are the minimum standards to do an apprenticeship um some of some of our higher apprenticeships, um, it's 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 preferable if they've got A levels or a similar level of work experience as that because it, they are the level of, of teaching is that much higher. So you know the last thing we want to do is put somebody into a situation where they then struggle with the level of work because they don't have the experience for it. the academic levels. We really look for people. You know, it's uh, qualifications are one thing and and you have to have a minimum standard absolutely, but. You know, we're we're looking for enthusiastic people who want an apprenticeship, who want to take that first start in their career, and you know, who want to work for us, want to work in the industry, and passionate about food, and you know, they're they're looking for the, um, their opportunities. It's a massive industry. It's uh, it's a lot bigger than you think. Um, it's the biggest manufacturing industry in the UK. Um, it's the only industry I've ever worked in. And I, I never intended to get into it. I just, I've just always been in it. Um, you know, it, it's, it's really, really rewarding knowing, knowing that you, you know, what you're doing. You're making food and drink. You're helping country go. You know, you're, you're feeding people. It's, it, it's vitally important. The, the main thing is you've got to do some research. You know, you, you've got to you've got to look into the companies that are in that industry. You know, look at what they stand for, how they operate, what their values are. You know, do, does that interest you? You know, do you have a do you have a passion for for food, people? Um, so yeah, you you know, you've really got to look into it. But then, when once you've once you've figured out a role you want to apply for, then you you know you need to figure out what your relatable skills are in that, and and really look into that role and make sure you want to do it because. If you do, then that passion and enthusiasm will come across in your in your interview and your assessment. If you don't, then it won't, and it'll be obvious. Um, so you know, really, really look into opportunities out there, but only apply for the ones that you actually really, really want. Um, so you're passionate about them, and then, and then you know, just be yourself when we see you.